here folks, it's Gikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Betrayal at Krondor, and when last we left off, we went on a very long side quest to get the Gallon Grief Maker, which would be an absolutely fantastic blade if we didn't already have great swords. Great swords, although they don't give us as much accuracy bonus, deal more damage, so unfortunately, this weapon is not something we're going to be using. Which means we're selling it right back to Nia. We're also going to be selling a couple of other things to make a bit of room. And we're going to be getting rid of all of these Glazer's Guild Seals, barring one. I get the feeling we're only meant to have one of them, and I'm just carrying around three of them needlessly. Right, Gallant Griefmaker goes back, 185 sovereigns, so we sort of made a small profit. I'll take it. We're also going to sell... Can we sell you this shovel? We can absolutely sell you that shovel, and that is fantastic news. Can we also sell you this? I feel like selling you this is a good idea because we do have a bit too much of this, so we'll sell that as well. Anything else I really want to sell? You know what I actually want to sell? I actually want to sell one of these ammunition types. The poisoned quarrels seem pretty good if we check the uh, info. Uh, 7 plus crossbow, minus 5, okay. And then there's this one, 25 plus crossbow, right. Um, I bet these, yep, 34 for a whole stack of 25. 63 for 10. Yeah, I think we're going to sell those, because let's face it, I'm probably never going to use them ever. We'll keep... Can we sell these? 64 sovereigns for 14 picklocks. Is it worth it? I feel like picklocks are actually going to be very useful at some point, so I'm going to hold on to the picklocks for now. Let's leave. Oh, and then immediately pop back in, because I need to get some haggling done. Silly me. I was like, I've done everything I need to do. And it's like, no, you haven't haggled. So you're going to haggle. I bet Nia's a bit annoyed now that we've just uh, popped in here and then we're immediately haggling some more. Gorath, you shall be the one to lead the haggling. We could also potentially buy a couple of rations. Buying rations, probably not a bad idea. Also, I don't know what I was trying to uh, drag there. It certainly wasn't an item. And this is when Nia never runs out of patience for us haggling. Oh, you've been so kind to me. I'll just keep haggling forever. And it would seem like that's going to happen because... Uh... Oh, there we go. There's a bit of a discount. Can we eventually get you to take it off? No, apparently not. Eight royals. That was really cheap for that, actually. We're gonna buy the rations. And I'm gonna share them with... Oh, it was 14, wasn't it? Well, I bought a few too many rations. We'll... We'll definitely use them, though. Like, there's, there's no... No doubt about it. Rations, they'll get used. And a little bit of haggling here. We can always get more uh, herbal packs here as well. They're not that expensive. Not that expensive. Also get restoratives here if you want them. So if we were to pop back in here, that's a gold. We can get it down to eight royals. You know what? I'll buy one, honestly, for that price. And we get some haggling improvement. There we go. Right, that's much better. 91% for you. And 70% for you. Excellent. And you, of course, remain at 100%. Now, we want to go and return to that farm, which I believe is down here. Is it here? Yes, because we want to return some of these here. We don't want all of these. We just want one. With that, we now have eight slots here, a whole one slot here for the moment, and eight slots here. Not a terrible amount for going to get things, which is good, because we're about to do some resting, and then we're going to go and make some forward progress. 
We need to make our way... There's nothing in here. Yep, worth double-checking. We're going to make our way over to Romney. And it's going to be quite a trek to get to Romney. Going to be quite a trek. If we go and check the map, we are currently here by Lighton. We need to come past Sildon and Sloop and then Romney. And we're also going to have to keep our eyes peeled for boxes because we haven't been keeping our eyes peeled for boxes. We absolutely haven't. So there are the dead people. Is there anything on these people I want before I leave? No, no. Not really. And... A sword. I mean, I could sell it for a couple of sovereigns. But truthfully, I want to actually leave my inventory empty for better loot. And there will be better loot, I'm sure. So this is... That's... Lighten. So I want to look around here and see if I can find stuff... By Lightem. Well, this is the, uh... Lord's home. And there's the thing I just dropped on the floor. Just gonna have a look around. See if I can find anything. There's going to be things. I absolutely know there are going to be things. There are gonna be boxes. And there's going to be enemies. I just need to find both of them. Ooh. There are these trees. Hmm. Do we go into the trees? Preoccupation had dulled his senses. Uh-oh. Don't move. There's something very not right about the ground before us. Oh boy! It's another trap, and my, what a trap that is. Right! <coughs> hmm. Gonna have you rest. And we're gonna see if we can bypass this via... Skin of the Dragon. How much? Oh, that much should probably be sufficient. We have you defend. Just move forward. Yep, that'll do it. And then we'll just have you heal a little bit. And just like that, we're good. 8 to 31. And maximum. We're through it, I think. But be on your guard. There may be other traps. Owen's accuracy casting improved there to 88%. I'm not going to say no. Also, boxes. Oh my, so many boxes. Uh, I'm, I'm super pleased about the boxes. Super pleased. Let us uh, get a new save. Someone told me, by the way, the numbers here have fallen completely out of sync. I can believe that. It's a Mord Hell box. Gorath scanned the runes embossed on the Mord Hell clue plate. It's text their only hope to opening the difficult word lock. An untiring servant it is, carrying loads across muddy earth. But one thing that cannot be forced is a return to the place of its birth. Now, this is quite obviously river. But if you got the note, you know that it's river. Which would save you solving a lockbox. There we go. River. And we get pig locks. All right. We get a Gilda's pass key. Okay. We get a shell. Yay. And we get a sword. A sword at the very least that you could fix up. But honestly, I'm not sure I want you to carry this around. I mean, I suppose you can carry it around for now. Until we, uh, don't have, uh, space for it. We'll, we'll have you keep it for the moment. Also, better have you switch back to this. You never know, a monster could pop out. Also, here's another one. With sharp edges, wit, and pointed, with sharp edged wit and pointed poise, it can settle disputes without a noise. This was also on the, uh, thing we were given, and it is sword. We've been using these a lot. In here. Ooh. Magically blessed kingdom armor. And a little bit of money. I mean, this is fully intact kingdom armor. 
which is nice. We, we might end up selling the uh, armor, because honestly, we have moved far beyond the need for kingdom armor. We could go to Malik's Cross, sell it there, fully repair this, or as fully as we can, 98%. We probably won't get much more money for the uh, blessed armor, but... Ooh, your armor needs a bit of a, a tune-up. We can do that. We actually have the space to do that. All right, Gorath. Get to work. Ding, ding, ding. 99%. 91% armor crafting. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And we're not done. There's one more box. This one we know as well. Power enough to smash ships and crush roofs, yet it still must fear the sun. This is ice. And I think I uh, scroll past the sea. There we go. The chest thumped. And it's open. Ooh. We have 29 gold sovereigns. We have a ruby. We can absolutely sell that ruby in a bit. A Ring of Prandor, we don't really care about that, and a crossbow. We have a lot of stuff to sell, so we should absolutely get to selling this. Fix this up. And we could go to Near Shop. Is Near Shop closer than Malik's Cross? Probably, because we're here now. Hmm. There's not a lot in it, honestly. But we should definitely go and sell... Actually, if we go and sell things at Nia's shop, we could go sell that sword. That seems like a good idea. Let's totally go do that. Remember that sword I left behind? Also, we spent a while doing this. It's already night. We should rest. And use up those rations that I bought extra. There we go. So now we have 14. You have one extra. And you have 14. Marvelous. It is now day. Is our sword still here? It absolutely is. Let's go sell it. And we'll go do a bit more haggling as well while we're here. Meow. Good thing we unlocked access to this shop. And this is when this shop will not take our armor. This is when it won't take the armor and we will get sad. Well, it's all uh, a learning experience seeing what can and cannot be sold. Right, will you take my sword? Yes! And you'll give me a really good deal for it. Six sovereigns for a sword? Good thing I picked up that sword. 25 sovereigns for the crossbow. What about the armor? 20 sovereigns. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a lot there. Um, three. Which is the more valuable ruby? I'm going to sell the less valuable ruby. 95 sovereigns. If I wanted to sell this one. 186. Wow. Um, I'm going to keep the more valuable one and sell this one. So now you have eight spaces. You're going to have uh, two spaces. And you're going to have nine spaces. We also nearly have an entire second stack of lockpicks, which is nice. Also, weapon's okay. You can fix up your crossbow a bit. We definitely should fix up your crossbow, actually. Oh, also, I'm here. Why am I not haggling again? I really should get into the habit of haggling again. I, I, I fell out of the habit once uh, Owen got to maximum. Really should get back into the habit of this. Right, haggle time. Ah, now things are becoming unavailable. Slowly. The key became unavailable. The armor didn't. It seems like the armor is... Oh, armor is now unavailable. Eight royals... I imagine it's 10 royals to a sovereign. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody who knows the uh, source material a lot better than I would be able to uh, answer that for you. I do not know the source material that much. I think I have, like, the very first book in the series. But that's the only book in this series I have. Maybe I should start reading it? I don't know. So many things to do. So many things to do. I know there are a lot of books in this series. There are a lot of them. Also, mental note. 
someone mentioned that uh, restoratives can be used to cure plague. I could have used my restoratives to cure the plague that I got when I went into the house to get the 30 or so sovereigns. It wouldn't have been worth it, because 12 restoratives are 40 gold, but it was an option. Also, pretty sure that's enough for an increase. Oh yeah, that's absolutely enough for an increase. 92% there, Gorath. 92. 11 craft of 44. Okay, let's turn around and keep heading to the east. Actually, we'll follow the road. I am pretty sure that following the road means that you, uh, you cover more ground, as it were. There'll be some more settlements for us to, uh, use as we, uh, travel this way. Okay, so that is where the massive outcrop of woodland is. And there's a big thing here. We can sort of look around here. Is there anything here worth discovering? The answer is probably not. The answer is absolutely not, but it was worth having a look. Always worth having a look. Back to the big outcropping of woodland. We have... They were not alone. Gorad's pulse quickened as he saw the lone figure approach. When it became apparent they were not being attacked, he relaxed a bit, squinted slightly in an attempt to see who it was to about it was about to join them. Excuse me, sirs. I will detain you only a few moments. Can you show me the way to Lighton? I am told that there is someone there who requires my services to pick a Weber lock. The letter I received from there sounded most urgent. Impossible! A Weber lock cannot be picked! Perhaps not by you, but one skilled in the arts of subtlety. He may know how to penetrate even the most difficult of locks. It is a matter of patience. I don't care how patient you are. A Weber lock cannot be picked. You're making idle boasts. And what would Abuk gain telling strangers a fact that was not true, eh? I merely say these things so I may advertise my services, and you might make use of them one day. I state a simple fact. There is no lock in this kingdom of yours that Abak cannot pick. None. Is that so? Perhaps you could teach us how to pick Weber locks. It would take more time than I think you would care to spend. I spent five years at the foot of my master, Caliphat, in the shadow of Mount Ashunta learning the art, but I could perhaps improve whatever skill you may already possess. A small fee of 70 gold sovereigns should pay for my time. Seventy gold pieces for a lesson in lockpicking? That's nothing short of robbery. You are wise. I should not cheat myself in this fashion. Eighty sovereigns, but I cannot raise my price any higher, despite the great deference you show to my person. Is the arrangement to be sealed? Um... No, because I want to get slightly better improvements by having lockpicking alone there. There are many things I enjoy in life, but wasting hard-earned money is not one of them. Any man that claims to be able to pick a Weber lock is undoubtedly a fraud. Perhaps you are right. I shall consider these things while I unlock what enlighten. If you should change your mind and we should meet again, however, I would be willing to teach you the thing that things that are impossible for me to know. Travel well. That we will. Good day. Right, we are going to... Ooh, also... You gain some health and stamina, you gain some health and stamina, you gain some health and stamina, and we're all about to gain some lot picking, because we are actually going to take him up on that offer. Also, your lot picking is atrocious, but it was always going to be atrocious. Right. So, let us save, and let us gain that lock pick uh, training. I'm sure if we, like, leave and come back, he'll be there. So if we step back, like... So, and move forward. Will he be back? Hmm, no. Clearly not. There has to be a way to get him to spawn, though. If we rest for a little while, like leave a bit, and then turn back round, will he be back? There is a way to get him back. Are you here, Abuk? There you are! Dear friends, come, 
Abak will teach you how to pick locks. I believe we fixed my price at 80 sovereigns on my last meeting. Shall I give you a lesson now? Yes. All right, Cassian, 80 sovereigns, but I am warning you. I doubt there's anything you can teach me. You must open yourself to new things. This is the first learning. Without this opening, you will not be complete. Opening yourself is like opening a lock. If you cannot open, then the lock may not open. You should understand that there is no difference between yourself and the lock that you pick. All these things I will demonstrate with a test lock that I carry with me. Now I want you to observe. Cashian double talk. Wait, wait a minute. How did you do that? I couldn't see... Do that again. That is it. You have received your first lesson, Dark Eyes. That was too fast. I couldn't catch what you were doing. In time, you shall realize what was done. In your mind, the events will unlock, and thus your hands will unlock as well. I must go now. Goodbye. Wait! The party's lockpick ability has increased, but by how much? That was 9%. Owen had... 15% and now has 24. That is absurd. You are now at 34%. And James? 92%. Yeah, that, that was that was worth it. That was absolutely worth it. 80 sovereigns. Well spent. Absolutely well spent. We basically traded a ruby for 9% increase in lockpicking. And so, when we come back, folks, we will continue to head towards Romney. There are still a lot of places we can visit along the way. There is uh, Silden here, and Sloop, before Romney. And then there's all these places here, like Prankstone, Cavill Keep, Kenting Rush. I wonder how far the road is going to bring us up to here. Oh, and then all the way... That would be really clever if it looped us all the way back round. I get the feeling it might do that. But we'll find that. We'll, but we'll find that out soon enough. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.